Hi, welcome back to Talk of the Town. The second annual Pat Conroy Literary Festival presented by the Pat Conroy Literary Center will be held October 19th through 22nd, primarily at USCB Center for the Arts. Here to share more about this four-day literary festival, Jonathan Haupt, Executive Director. Jonathan, welcome. Well, thank you. It's nice to be here. Glad to have you back. So talk a little bit about the participants in this year's festival. Well, our theme for this year's festival is the transformative power of education. So it's a way to talk about Pat's experiences as student and as teacher. So all of our presenters are teachers or educators in one sense of that word or another. Mm -hmm. And you have some uh, special events throughout the festival. I'm going to kind of let you hone in on those. Sure, absolutely. Well, the festival is an immersive series of workshops and discussions held during the day, but each evening about 4 o'clock, uh, Thursday through Saturday, we turn everything over to a large-scale event. And on Thursday, we're going to be at what's now Beaufort Middle School, but it was Beaufort High School when Pat was a student there and when he was a teacher. So we're going to have a tour of that campus led by some of Pat's teachers and his students, people who knew him in that capacity. And we're going to have uh, free panel discussions that evening talking to some of those students and teachers as well. When Pat passed away, he was working on a novel about his friendship with uh, three other uh, young teachers, Bernie Shine, George Garbay, and Mike Jones, and they're all coming to this year's festival, so we'll get a little oh, insight into yeah. what that book might have been. Right. So that's our Thursday event. Friday, we're going to focus a little bit on Pat's Citadel experiences. Mm -hmm. So we're showing the film, The Lords of Discipline, which is based on his novel that he wrote about the Citadel. But after that, some of his Citadel classmates from the class of 67 are going to appear on stage and that's talk incredible. about what that was really like. Yeah. One of them, uh, John Worley is writing the modern history of the Citadel, so that lets us talk not just about Pat's experiences, but the whole arc of history of that school. Yeah. And Saturday night, and I'm really excited about this, uh, USC Buford and the Buford Theater Company is putting on Conrack the Musical, based on Pat's book, The Water is Wide. That's going to be performed primarily with a local cast, but there's a, a young actor playing Pat named uh, Blake Logan, who's joining us too, and he's just incredibly talented. So that's going to be amazing to see on stage. And then after that performance, Pat's high school principal, Dr. Bill Dufford, who's still alive and still teaching at 91 years old, <laughs> is going to take the stage and tell some of his stories about Pat and about his experiences as a teacher as well. Wow. I, what a wonderful th three, four evening event. I mean, this is, this is terrific. It's really a remarkable experience, and there are so many members of the Conroy family who come and participate as well. I was just going to ask well. you, and, and how do they participate? Well, Pat's daughter, Melissa, is a children's book author and illustrator, and she's going to appear on a panel, but she's also going to teach a workshop, one of the six workshops we have this year. And Pat's brother, Tim, has a first book of poetry coming out this year, so that'll debut at the festival. And Pat's widow and fellow novelist, Cassandra King, has been a part of the festival every year. And this year, she's introducing Ann Kidd Taylor, who is Sue Monk Kidd's daughter, who has a very fir first novel of her own coming out. And that's our Sunday brunch event. That's one of the closing events for the festival. And where will that be held at? That'll be held out at Dawta, uh, which actually connects to Pat, too, because Dawta Island appears in The Prince of Tides. It's the inspiration for Melrose Island in that novel. So if people are interested in just, say, um, one or two of the events, or if they want to do the entire you know, weekend, um, how does that work? Well, they can buy tickets uh, for as little as $10 to a particular event. They can buy an all-weekend pass for $195 that gets them access to almost everything. Mm -hmm. So the individual prices, uh, ses session by session, really range from $10 or entirely free in some cases to $45 for those evening packages that we were talking about. And as far as uh, the events being held at, I mentioned that a majority of them are going to be at the USCB uh, Art Center, but there's, yeah. there's other various locations, and you will have all that information on your website, correct? Yes, on the website there's a full schedule and short That's the bios. best way to probably navigate this event. There's so much, so much activity that the website is really a good map of where everything is and what the times are and pricing as well. Okay, wonderful. And again, the dates are? It's Thursday. October 19th through Sunday, October 22nd. Wonderful. Thank you for stopping by, and we'll have that information on the screen. Thank you. And we thank you so much for joining us on today's Talk of the Town.